Hi everybody, it's Matt from Trailbreak.net. I wanted to bring you a quick video to show something that I found a lot of people really like. It's really easy to do in the software and um, people get a lot of good information out of it. So when we are looking at Race Studio 3, a lot of times people, or I'm sorry, Race Studio 2, a lot of times people will ask, um, how do I find out what my minimum corner speeds? And we can go in here and, and we can see all of them but a lot of times it helps to have it in a more graphical manner. An easy way for us to do that is first to set our segment map, and then uh, we're gonna come up and use the track report up here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say map, and we're gonna make a new map. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the fine details of how to do this, I've done that in some other videos but we're going to segment our map in a way that each corner area, uh, each apex ends up in its own spot. And we can break this wherever we think those minimum speeds are gonna end up in the middle. And I'm doing this very quickly. I'm not using the colors at all or changing it from a left to a right hand corner because for what we're doing, it really doesn't matter. So I did that and I'm just gonna name it. This is NHMS track report. Save it. Now we have that in the background and AIM uses that on our channel report. And if we go up here, we see it's the button with the flag where we can also hit control F12. And that gives us this map. What's interesting about this map is it uses the segments and you can just see them in here where I was clicking and you'll see it on your own when you go and do this. The other important part to being able to make effective use of this graph is over here in the measures window on the left of our screen, sometimes we have to move the uh, window size so we can see everything, but it gives us all these other icons over here now and those show what it's going to display. So right now it shows RPM and the blue downward triangle is a minimum and the red one facing up is a maximum. So we want to turn off that RPM maximum. And if we scroll down here until we have GPS speed, we can, we lost it, here we go, hit the blue minimum. And all of a sudden we have a map that shows you the minimum speed in each of our segments. For people that are used to using Harry's Lap Timer, this is a very, very powerful way to do the same thing in Race Studio 2 that you're used to seeing in, in um, Harry's Lap Timer. And what's neat about it is we see our slow speed in this corner was 57.2, in turn 2A it was 48.7, turn 2B 54.7, and so on. We can use this to go in and include other information. So if we wanted the maximums, we can hit that triangle and get maximums. Turn off the minimums, it clears it up. So you can see our high in this segment on the front straight was 107.6. The high in this segment was 100 even and so on. So a very powerful way to add these measures to, to a segment map. We can move the segments around if we wanted to slice and dice the track different and get the different minimums and maximums. And we can also add um, other measures here. Is maybe we want to look at um, something like G-sub. And if we have that down here, we can turn on the minimum, which is going to be zero, so that wouldn't be helpful, but we could turn on a maximum. Um, we could turn on one of the other measures and see what we get. So if we go back here to take the G7 and we put in the maximum, we can look at those points and, and see what they are. Um, the map can get very messy very quick, so we don't want to turn on too many things. Um, but for one measure at a time, it's a great way to put that information out. We can take a screenshot of this, we can print this, we can use it in our log books and our other areas to really use this as a reference for what we're doing at different points. It saves us a lot of math to try to figure these things out and saves us a lot of other work to be able to do it in a series of clicks. So I hope this helps folks out. 
If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, you can find that through trailbreak.com or trailbreak.net um, or any other way that you want to get in touch with me. I'm happy to help you out. I hope this helps.